I'm entering Disneyland. This is the same group. This is looks like those that rooms we saw over there in that place of Perdu, huh? that island we went to. Everybody. Oh, cool. I just no, 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 no. Oh. It's just like the movies. Yeah. <laughs> so well, my dear. Actually, we entered by the area of the barracks of the gladiators. This used to be the spot where all the large number of fighters uh, were living. Uh. And uh, they were living on the, you know, some kind of two levels of rooms. Huh? You can understand and more or less in the same way with wooden beams and actually around the tiles. Huh? And in any case, uh, the area that you see in the middle, where you see the grass, huh, used to be the area where they were training themselves. So this wasn't just their residence, but they also trained themselves for right over here. The well, you could wander around in here for a long time. Yeah. Uh. Pompeii was equipped with uh, a small and a larger theater. Both of them have been built by a couple of gentlemen in the uh, citizenship of uh, Pompeii that were actually trying to acquire the sympathy, the benevolence, and the votes of all the population. This one was actually having, obviously, the stage over here where they performed the acting uh, in terms of the tragedies and comedies and ballet performances. And uh, the spectators would be divided along this uh, scene. So all the way around, I thought we were going to go to the Ciro. Well, we're going to go. Bye, bye, bye. We're going to go to the ballet. Ah. I don't know what will happen. Another thing which is important is to say that also this is flat, so on which uh, I'm stepping now, are ever being redone. And all the original seats of the lower part, uh, this one, during the summer for performances. Otherwise, uh, there would have not been any function of this metallic structure like over here on the stage. So they're putting some uh, tables. The road here is all rocky. You gotta watch your step here. A lot bigger than Delphi, huh? How many people did they say? 20,000 people lived here? I think they had more than that. I think they're just guessing. But it was a fort, it was a... It 
was the best estimate. Well, this looks like a lot bigger than twenty thousand. Well, maybe not. Look how many? How big it is? But if you have, if you have uh, a lot of commerce, you know. People lived everywhere. Look at them. Look all the time it took to make all this stuff. I'm saying there's a lot of commerce and manufacturing, so a lot of these buildings are being lived in, you know? Yeah. And uh, you might have seen there's a big stones in the middle of the road, which would help the pedestrians to cross the road without finishing into the waste that is simply from the houses or from the shops used to be thrown on the road, wow. like an open air sewer system. Uh -huh. So to skip all this waste, they jump over this pedestrian crossing. So stepping so, Where'd they go? Oh. <laughs> huh? No, 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 no. What are looking for? Did they go ahead? The very heavy process of uh, uh, restoration started uh, in the year 2001 and not completed. It will be taking tens and tens of years. And so, very few of the houses that are still available are just in the decoration and in the extension. So, well, we have uh, this uh, little corridor, which is just the vestibule, where you can see the reproduction in a plaster cast of the original wooden door, but the plaster cast technique comes later, so I'm telling you later. And then uh, the corridor opens up on this square large room, uh, which is the atrium. Well, uh, the other room is just adding an interesting function. Well, first of all, uh, it's just a room for crossing uh, along which uh, other rooms are facing, such as uh, the two symmetrical bedrooms, the kitchen and the toilet, in one single room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> kitchen and the toilet. What can we do? So it was like a little, uh, like a uh, you know, medieval cloister of the monasteries, you know, the garden inside. And uh, actually over here we have uh, a wonderful fresco that was uh, probably painted this way with the effect of a veranda, you know, like yeah. a big window looking mm -hmm. outside, uh, just because uh, the garden is small, it's small. Uh, so with this idea of the veranda, <coughs> they could have sort of an idea of a complea to break me through the landscape out. Like uh, they would have a window and they could see the, you know, the scene of the valley outside. So Presto is just uh, depicting this uh, wild animals, uh, like the wild business. Is that where you're coming from? And if you do come across right over here, there will be an interesting little location which is also a shop, but it was a wild shop. The correspondent of what we call nowadays a McDonald's. <laughs> uh. It is a simply, yeah. Yes. So well, my dear, this was actually the place that uh, more or less uh, everybody living in Pompeii used to visit at least uh, one uh, uh, once uh, in the day, in the afternoon, uh, usually. After having taken a good care of their own businesses, uh, they were coming over here to relax, be the friends and have the chat, just a, a relaxing spot. So usually this is pause. Uh, this is pause. This is the divided in male and female section. And uh, we are supposed to be paid. Uh, so if you would have enough money to pay uh, you know, for ten this spot, it was for everybody. Those they could afford. In any case, actually, they. I'm going to look at those little tabs in the bottom. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Yeah. 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 
Did you? Oh, you gotta recharge, huh? Figures those guys got crisp. <laughs> now I can see the Wasn't history channel and understand some of this. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. That's quite a clear one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. some very foolish things so through the years and so in any case they only let us see through the fence just the part of uh, the mosaic of the floor and then we are going straight up uh, we're looking at over here yeah. the mosaic here you can see it i don't know the moon, there's more in there. mary has a mosaic like just like that you see some mosaics on the ground oh this is pretty good yeah in good shape. good shape yeah yes this doll Oh. Well, the main square here. Take our own pictures, is cool. And tons of people. Hello, my name is Anthony Vedano. Uh, I took a cruise of the, me and my wife did to, through the Mediterranean and with it, this is one of our excursions. We left uh, the cruise ship and went to Pompeii and it's really a neat place. We was really impressed. I, I didn't expect to have so much. It was kind of like walking on the inside of a museum instead of the outside. You're, you're with all the artifacts and uh, it's just there's just history all around you. It's 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 hard. It follows the imagination. Uh, they had a lot of device things and, and pottery and paintings and things of that nature. I didn't expect to see. They even had a brothel. They had uh, pictures on top describing the services performed there. And next is this massive courtyard, and it's very impressive. It's huge, and behind here, that's Mount uh, Vesuvius, and uh, it's my picture of me and my wife, and there's a courtyard, and it's really some place to really go see. I was really impressed, and it was uh, well worth the money to go through that particular excursion. Um, it was, like most excursions, it, they stop at a gift shop, but in the end, it worked out real well. We walked through there, and there's a lot of walking, lots and lots of walking. We had an excellent tour guide. She explained everything to us as we walked along, and it was a wonderful ex experience. Thank you for this, for watching my video. Goodbye now.